This is going to be a video on cellular respiration. This is what I like to call big, big bucks and big, big bonuses. A lot of college students that end up taking biology don't really necessarily understand the whole entire component and diagram of this. So this is where I like to say um, is going to be a key, key component when dealing with cellular metabolism. And this is going to be with the uh, without the protein, starch, and what I like to consider other metabolisms out there. So what I like to do is begin with glucose. And we have to know that glucose enters a cell by something known as GLUT, glucose transporter. So what I'm going to do right now is tell you guys how it starts. And it starts with glucose entering the, the cell by the GLUT, and then the glucose is in the cytosol. And for those of you guys who are not familiar with cytosol, cytosol is cytoplasm. Now, I want you guys to hear one thing right now before I go ahead and go further with this. Okay, let's stop right there. I know exactly what he's communicating about. He's talking about the glucose here and how it ends up being into a pyruvate form. And the way it goes about doing that is it has to go through enzymes. Now, real quickly, an enzyme is going to be a chemical substrate that deals with slowing down and speeding up the molecular reactions. So enzymes will be kinase, isomorous, hexokinase, phosphofructose. Those are considered enzymes. Now, you take glucose, and once it goes through the hexokinase enzyme, it becomes glucose 6P because it has taken a, what I consider a phosphate from the ADP energy. Glucose 6P passes another enzyme that turns into fructose. Fructose is then converted into fructose 16P, and here we like to consider a triangle. Now, this tri triangle is going to show that fructose 16P goes into two different components. One component is going to be a dehydroxyl ketone, and the other one's going to be 2-glyceride. The 2-glyceride is the one that we're worried about, because that's the one that's going to be going into the biphosphoglyceride through the G3P dehydranase. Now, all of this is going to be transferred into what I consider more affiliated forms of glucose. All these are a form of glucose. Glucose, glucose, fructose, fructose is a form of sugar. Now, from there, it's going to uh, what they're going through what's called enzymes, that modifies it as time. Pretty soon, you're going to get into the 3-phosphoglyceride. Then you're going to hit a mutase enzyme that transfers 3-phosphoglyceride into 2-phosphoglyceride. In the analyze, lias, an H2O comes out. Then you have 2-phosphenoprivorate. Then it goes to a pyrokinase, which is an enzyme. And then from there, you're going to have the final form, pyruvate. This is pyruvate, and this is pyruvate. What you see in common right now is the 3 carbons. That is called a priority form 3 carbon. This right here is what you call the entrance to the mitochondria. Sometimes what they call the uh, the kind of the exit of the entrance to the mitochondria, it's kind of known as the membrane. So right here, the private dehydrogenase is going to actually take the pyruvate. It will extract a CO2 out of it, meaning that a carbon dioxide out will come out of it, a CO2. And then from there, it's going to end up in this form where it adopts coenzyme A, and then it becomes coenzyme A with the SH at the end. Now, this right here is called the Krebs cycle, TCA cycle, and I'm trying to see if there's another name for it as well, tricarboxylic acid cycle as well. These are the enzymes, aconitase, aconitase 2, isocitrate, coagliterite. Um, I don't want to skip any enzymes here, but I really, really want you guys to know this one right here. And this one's going to be called the enzyme sonic dehydranase, which is going to be called the complex 2 enzyme. With this enzyme, I think it's really, really important. You guys know because this enzyme is actually is attached to the electric transport chain as well and also in the Krebs cycle. Big, big bonuses, big key parts to understand this. Here you have a stage of fumarati. And for the guys who aren't familiar, these are enzymes in between the boxes. And these are going to be called the stages of the carbohydrates. So with the stages of the carbohydrates, here, here's going to be two carbon, two carbon, two carbon. You see it loses a carbon here. And then it goes through, it keeps on going through a continuous cycle 
All the tickets to Mat Malate, Amzain, and then Axolate. This is gonna be the Krebs cycle. Now, once the Krebs cycle is further in detail, you're gonna see here we got the electric transport chain with the Amzain one, two, three, four. So we got a lot of a lot of Amzines here, as we can tell. Complex one is the Amzine dealing with hydrogens. Complex two is attached to the Krebs cycle. So you can as you can see how it plays a role in the electric transport chain and in the Krebs cycle. Coenzyme Q. You have a coenzyme SH uh, ab above, and this can transfer into the complex three enzyme. And then here, complex four. Bonus, complex four deals with the oxygen being converted into H2O. For those of you guys who um, understand information at Bloom Taxonomy level, understanding um, oxygen, where it's going, where it's exiting, is going to help you out with the cellular equation. Now, since this is the animal cell, the equation you want is going to be the oxygen plus glucose, and then you want the outcome to be carbon dioxide and H2O. So here's glucose. That's going to be the social energy that's going into the cell. And then basically what's going to happen from there, that a carbon dioxide is going to get released. Carbon dioxide is an outcome. Another income in the cell is going to be oxygen, and the outcome is going to be H2O. So this should help you out with the understanding of what molecules are going into the cell and what molecules are coming out of the cell. Uh, if one thing that I would try to understand is try to understand the enzymes and try to understand the carbon dioxide. So we have what I just considered four main components. We have the glycolysis, how the glucose is being converted from enzymes into a pyruvate. We have the pyruvate dehydrogenase, which tells you how it came to the acetyl coenzyme A. We have the Krebs cycle, TCA cycle. And we also, also have the electron transport chain. I honestly have not seen it in this full detail ever. This is going to be the greatest amount of detail I have ever released and seen. This actually contains every single thing known to mankind to me. Um, please contact me with information. If you guys have any questions, I'll definitely put my email. I'm going to put my uh, number out there as well. I already belong to uh, two different biology club meetings. I'm going to kind of post this video as well up there too. The reason why I want to make this video is because I put up my diagram onto a social network and I receive a lot of likes and a lot of feedback. Um, hopefully this video will help you explain the diagram and help you understand the diagram a lot more. And this is what I have to call the cellular um, respiration, cellular metabolism without the protein, without the fatty acids, without the starch. Uh, please feel free to give me any type of question, comments. And thank you very much for letting me play this video. Enjoyed it.